What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video, and today really quick I just want to show you guys like a quick guide, quick method, how you can flash your RX 480 or RX 470 with a RX 580 or RX 570 uh, BIOS. Now, I would like to warn you guys, flashing BIOS to your graphics card, it could be AMD graphics card, it could be NVIDIA graphics card, you have 50-50 chance the card will break. Now what I mean by break, so let's put it this way, if your card is not cap capable of handling uh, the core clock or the voltage or anything basically, that will break, okay, that's what you call break, or sometimes break main, you will just have black screen, nothing. There's a way to fix it using DOS, uh, you know, pen, like you can make a bootable pen drive. Uh, using roofies and then you could boot and you can flash the BIOS again or you could just if you have like a two graphics card in your computer you could boot with one and then I could flash uh, you know using the ATI flash or the same method I'll be showing you right now so do it at your own risk I'm just showing you guys but do it at your own risk okay now Try to flush like let's put it this way. I have a R I have a power color RX 480. Okay, 4 gig. Now, just for the guide and just for the method I want to show you guys, I'll be using a RX 570 BIOS, a 4 gig RX 570 BIOS. The reason I'm using a RX 570 BIOS and flashing my RX 480, I know it's kind of like downgrading, but I couldn't find even one BIOS for my RX 580. 4 gig. I, trust me, I searched all over in Google. There's like a lot of files there in tech upload, like a bunch of them, but these are all 8 gig. Do not flush a 8 gig RX 580 BIOS to your RX 484 gig. That's just automatically you're just going to break your card. How I know? I did it. Trust me. Okay. Now there's a way to fix it. Okay. If you do make mistake. There's a way to fix it, but trust me, it's not an easy way. Now, first thing before you start flushing, uh, you know, custom BIOS to your uh, RX 480 or RX 470, a BIOS from RX uh, 580 or RX 570, back up the BIOS your graphics card comes with. It's always good to do that because sometimes, uh, you know, let's put it this way: the RX 580's BIOS just break your uh, RX 480. You can always flash back the uh, the stock BIOS, and you could bring the card back to just normal status. So how you do that? Download GPU Z. I'll leave a link in the uh, video description for you guys. Also, I'll leave a link in the description for the uh, the BIOS are from RX 470, and also the you know basically the uh, stuff I'll be using in the uh, uh, common pound so just check the description for everything guys now first thing first save your stock RX 480 bias now the graphics card I will be using today power color RX 480 now one more thing I would like to um, one more thing you need to do before you flash like a RX 580 bias to RX for your 480 or RX uh, 570 bias to your RX 470 Try to overclock your RX 480 before you flash the RX 580 BIOS and see how far can you go with the overclock. Because most of the RX 580 right now comes with like 1340, 1350, you know, core clock, you know. So basically, you need to overclock and see if you could uh, go up to uh, you know, 1350 with your RX uh, 480 or RX. 470 and then flash the bias that will help you a lot trust me because sometimes when you flash you know like the rx 580 bias to your rx 480 and your rx 480 you can hardly go up to like uh, 1320 uh megahertz core clock that's not good this that's not good trust me so try doing that first okay all right so let's save the bias first so GPU Z, okay, as you guys can see right here next to UEF5, there's like a little arrow, okay. Click on the arrow, okay, save to five. Now, name that virus, uh, you know, anything you like, but I would like to name it like, you know, um, RX480 4GB virus, so let's put it this way. 
I'll just name it like RX uh, 480 4 gig. That's it. And then just save it. All right. So this is, so as you guys can see, I just saved it right here, right there. As you guys can see, I have it. Ah, uh, I have it right here. Sorry. All right. Saved it in the desktop. So now, let's just go on with the flush. So I have everything like ready right here. Okay, as you guys can see, my notepad right here. So before we do any of this, okay, we need to do some other stuff. So go to your uh, this computer, my computer, go to local disk, okay, and we need to move the ATI uh, flash folder to the C drive. All right, as you guys can see right here. Now open the folder. Now, as you guys can see, I have the uh, RX 570 virus right here. We'll drag that to drag that to to ATI Win Flash folder. Okay, change the folder name RX 570. All right. So as you guys can see right here. Now we can close that. Okay, get out of here. Type in search cmd as you guys can see, and then common prompt, and then click right, run as administrator. Yes. And then, as you guys can see, the first command right here, copy, right click, enter. Now, if you're flashing a RX 580's BIOS, okay, now we are flashing an RX 570 BIOS, so we'll just uh, change this to RX 570. All right. Copy this, paste, right click and paste, enter. And now, as you guys can see, uh, it's flashing the BIOS. So right now, basically, you are getting yourself a free RX 570. Yes. All right. Now, the device we are flashing right now, this device is from a uh, Sapphire uh, Nitro. RX 570. I think the card goes for around $209. The uh, core clock is around $1340. Alright, and then we just reboot. So, bye. Alright, guys. So, after we restart the computer, so now as you guys can see, the virus was flashed successfully. Radeon RX 570, as you guys can see right here. Uh, the GPU clock speed is around 1340, as you guys can see. Uh, between the RX 480 and RX, uh, uh, RX 470, uh, the memory clock speed is the same. So in like uh, uh, 7000 uh, gig gigabit per second. So this, uh, as you guys can see, 1750 and before it was 1750. Just for today, just for the guide and the method, and I'll show you guys, you know, how to basically flash so you know don't <laughs> think that I'll be sticking with the 570 virus because kind of like downgrading but again a 570 almost performs same as the RX 484 gig so as you guys can see uh, the GPU uh, clock speed right now with the 570 virus 1340 and then the RX 480 I had 1266 now mind you I can overclock the RX 480 I have all the way to 1390 so I'll be overclocking that card so that should be it guys you know I just wanted to show you now you can test if it's stable or not so basically let me show you guys you, you guys can install uh, like Valley benchmark and you can run Valley benchmark and you can see like um, let me show you guys let me just run the Valley benchmark Temperature right here, 84 Celsius. The temperature is a little high. 
guys have any other question leave in the comment below and if, if you have a RX 480 you can easily flush a RX 580 BIOS or if you have RX 570 RX 470 you can easily flush a RX 570 BIOS and like I say if you guys have a RX uh, 580 4 gig BIOS please leave a link in the comment section and I will make make it like part 2 video and show you guys you know how to uh, flash so and if you are let's put it this way if you don't like the you know RX 570 BIOS you just uh, flash to your RX 470 uh, you can easily go back using the same method like I show you guys and you can go back to uh, RX 480 BIOS that should be it guys hope you guys like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and peace